Global food prices remain high and volatile, affecting the poorest countries the most uh, in a persistently troubled world economy. Therefore, the food crisis is not over, and we look forward at the World Bank to work uh, with the G20 to improve the transparency of the international markets, especially uh, for food stocks, as well as improving the rapid response in a coordinated way. There are multiple concerns. Uh, the first one is that um, uh, oil prices uh, may affect uh, uh, food prices because of the unrest in the Middle East. Uh, also, the price of fertilizers remain very high. Uh, floods in Thailand may affect uh, prices of rice, which have been increasing for the last five months. And last but not least, uh, fears of a uh, uh, global uh, crisis may also affect uh, food prices differently across different developing countries. The situation in the Horn of Africa is still dramatic. We estimate that 13 million people are affected, which is uh, one more million than in August. Uh, in addition, uh, one region in, Som in Somalia has been declared in a famine state. Uh, also in Sudan, uh, in the Blue Nile state, uh, there is uh, an outbreak of conflict that may also deteriorate the situation. On the positive side, uh, the situation in Ethiopia and um, Kenya have improved and we expect that by the end of the year, the status go from uh, emergency to crisis.